Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here in Earth and Sky Studio. And those of you joining us online, we really appreciate all of your likes, your loves, your feedbacks, your comments. Sharing this video out to your friends and family means the world to us as we work to grow our little channel here in our little neck of the woods in Michigan. We're now studios. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and so we're actually continuing our third week of our deep yep. dive into meditation. And so we've decided to our first week we took kind of did an intro about meditation what it is yep. what it if it's mindfulness if it's meditation or how you can med med meditation <laughs> or, or meditation or you can meddle in your meditation yeah. i suppose there's so. a huge controversy <laughs> there with that <laughs> mindfulness and meditation, meditation. Yep. and how they really can be one and the same thing it's really about bringing yourself into the present moment yep. bringing yourself into your body being able to bring your awareness so that you can be in the pilot of your life during the day, during driving, every moment. Driving the car. Exactly. Looking where you're going begins with being mindful of what you're doing, and meditation really can get you there. Yep. And then last week we talked quite a bit about the beginner's mind with meditation, how to get started from the entry level. We did a meditation video a while back, quite a while back, and it was some. I was realizing that some of the things I talk about maybe a little bit advanced yeah. sometimes so yeah, we sure. wanted to do a deep dive and start with JJ really getting into the beginning of it if you're new to meditating if you're in your first year or two or maybe your five first five years of meditation it's really still you're developing that beginner's mind yeah. you can develop it at what feels like a very rapid pace and there's always so much there's more that you can do and find yeah. out there so next week I'm gonna go more into some of the advanced aspects of when you've been meditating for a long time, maybe some advanced techniques to implement into your meditation practice, and talking about some of those long sustained benefits. JJ's still going to be here for those that need somebody to kind of change the, you know, describe what I'm saying in other terms. We see things from different viewpoints, even though we're often talking about the same right. thing. Absolutely. And so uh, with that, though, I want to go ahead and turn it over to you with okay. one of the ways that you really like to walk yourself down in meditation and I know one of the first things you started doing was with seeing numbers you touched on this a little bit okay. last week right, but right, can you right, touch on yeah. that again so oh yeah so okay so last week we were talking about so counting down when you're going into it as the you're dropping down into your meditation and as you're dropping down I like I started out um, picking I just saw red numbers that would flash um, and so but as I we get deeper and deeper. I, I spend more time actually in kind of the more of a dark space. I'm not I'm not um, seeing colors as much when I really start getting into it. The darkness kind of takes over, and I notice that I um, if you focus hard, you can actually physically see numbers. So when your eyes are shut and you're in that meditation, you can physically create. Uh, well, in this case, numbers, but you can physically create just about anything you want. It's like a drawing in the dark. And so I actually draw each number so I can physically see it with my eyes. And doing that really added like another layer of focus and concentration um, so that each number was like physically there. And I know that sounds kind of odd, but it was, you can really draw each one of those numbers kind of on your eyelids, you know, and you draw it as you're going down. And that I noticed really added that like another la another level of complexity to it as I was heading down. Um, then once I got so I've, I used that to, to again to get deeper and deeper. Now um, I did that for pro for months and months and months, probably six, eight, nine months. I've been doing just that that first initial simple routine, going through it. Um, just getting down there, walking through my, my storyline that I had already prepared. Um, and then after a while, it was like, I finally was like, okay, once I'm down here, I really, there was, I wanted more. I wanted to see what more I could do with it. And so I had started, I think we mentioned uh, last week that I actually have like a control room. And so I had actually decided to, um, I was before one of my meditations. Again, this is where I, I think it's, for me personally, I think it works and I think it would work for most people. I actually prepared my brain for the idea of what I was going to walk into. So I'm like, okay, I need a room that has, and I made a control room. And, it, and in that control room, I, I come up with a couple ideas of things to control, like, like how, uh, like the, 
my how much oxygen I was going to take in, um, things like my adrenaline levels, things like that. And those were some basic like bodily functions that I was like, I would like to see if I could kind of get a control on these things. And so um, then I set up this control room. So then I walk through the meditation and I get down and I walk over to the door. And when I walk in and I just stood there. And so like the first few times I would just stand there and just lay out this control room. And it was just, it's layers and layers of panels and screens and whatever. And so after a little, so then once I would go in there, um, I would spend time and I would pick like one of the dials. And I would go over and I would adjust one of the dials. And I would wait for a minute and I would kind of come back into my body and be like, do I feel anything right now? And a lot of times I really didn't feel anything in the moment. And then I would put the dial, then I would go back into the meditation, I would put the dial back to where it was at, and then I would leave. And then that would be the end of it. And I would try, and I would spend the day trying to see how do I respond? How did my body respond to that? And I found there was actually noticeable changes. One of them I did find was actually, I'm pretty sure was adrenaline, which if you crank adrenaline up, <laughs> you get anxiety, which is a really interesting response. And so I spent like two or three days straight just on edge. I was very anxious about everything, very high strung. Things were scaring me kind of that normally wouldn't scare me. And I was like, oh, well, that's kind of the opposite of what I was shooting for with the idea of meditation. But it was very interesting that that was, I got that response. And so I, and I did this, I did that same dial like for three days in a row. That's what caused that. And so then I found, okay, if I just, and so if I ever need to, when I go down, if I feel like I'm like, like today, if I haven't, like I hadn't slept last night. And so in my meditation, if I just go, eh, and I just turn it a little bit up, <laughs> and then I leave it alone, when I come out of the meditation, by the time I'm done getting ready for the morning, I usually have a little more energy than I would have otherwise, which is kind of interesting. And so I found that like I would mess with other dials and see what they did. Some of them did things I could understand. Some of them did nothing seemingly. I'm not sure. Um, but and those it, things that seem like they did nothing might come up later. The more you meditate, yeah, and you, yep. you know, if I time, if I were to do that, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. I after a while, like when I'm, I kind of overdo things sometimes. So this was like a really big control room, and after a while, I'm like, okay, I'm getting tired of just testing these things one at a time. And of course, you don't want to go in and just start flipping switches. It's like you want to go into a drugstore and just start taking pills and be like, what does this do? You know, it's just not a good idea. So, uh, so I just got, I kind of, I think I might have made it a little more complicated than was necessary, but, uh, but yeah, I did, I found a lot of, I found a lot of different aspects that, that actually did control certain things. Um, so then now. And you had the drain in there. Talk about the drain that you had. The energy, the, the energy flush. Okay, the energy flush. Yeah. So yeah. So I have. So there was this one section that um, we had been talking. This when I came up with this, I think we had been talking a lot about um, people that hook on to you. You know, they're called cords and stuff. A lot of people have heard of it. The energy cords, cords. or attachments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the thought in my head was that you know the. Being, them being attached to you and all of the, you know, as we go through our life, never re people never really thinking about refreshing all of your energy in your mm -hmm. system. Just, you know, even just... Because often when we do, can I just yeah, interject please. for a moment? So often when we talk about cutting cords, we'll release those attachments that yeah. sometimes it's people we know, sometimes it's people we don't know, and you release those attachments and then you seal, you kind of bring some energy and seal your aura, but it's not something that we often talk about with actually refreshing and doing a full like reboot like of your reboot. energy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that was, so that was, so we'd been talking about that. So I was like, okay. So I had actually gone in and in my, I created a piping system and I actually when I went over there I was like well if I'm gonna if I'm gonna drain that I don't want everything online when I do that so I actually have it's basically a really big boiler <laughs> kind of an idea and that's my power system you know that's my power center and so I would go over so in my meditation I walk over and I would hit a button and it would turn off the boiler and I could and I would just wait and I would feel you know everything just kind of calm and just like shut down, like if somebody were like drain all the blood out of your body, that kind of a feeling, just everything just completely go calm and just limp basically. And then 
um, then I hit another button and I can I have just a big glass pipe and it just that's my energy level and I would just watch it go down and as it goes down I would try to just envision that feeling of my energy as it dropped down through my body drops down and I can see it go out of the pipe and then I would hear it go click and that was the last of it and then it would divert and it would start pulling in fresh energy basically like from the earth and so when the energy came back I always imagined it as being really super shiny and bright you know good happy shiny bright and so uh, so that would fill up and so I would do that and, and, it, and it always gave me just a sense of I don't know just a kind of sense of clarity I always got from that um, when I came out of the meditations, it just always, you feel, I don't know, refreshed. Like a really good night's sleep was the nice feeling. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, uh, and I think, yeah, so, so after I would go through that. So eventually, I, I'd done that enough times that I was like, well, you know what, after I've done these. So if you've done those enough times, you're now going to, you've decided you want to step up and you want to try something different. And so the, the next step that I actually was trying, so I would... After I would do my walk, you know, control rooms and the flushings and the, I would actually walk to the center of my tunnel and I would actually just sit and try to listen to that silence that's in this tunnel. And that silence, if you're, when like, I, I think I had mentioned last week, that silence really was almost a, it's almost a deafening silence, but it really is kind of an amazing thing in itself. And, uh, and so, that I learned that when I would stand there and just listen to the silence, that that's, I was actually starting to go to that place where people say, you're trying to get that, you know, clearing your mind. And that's where I, that's where I found it. And so I realized that that was a diff, that was like the next level for me personally. And so I started from there, I, instead of doing the, all of the rounds that I've been doing for so many months, I kind of tuned it back and I realized, you know what, I'm just going to try. So I just, I would, I go down into the meditation like I always have. And then I come out of that elevator and then I just stand there and I just listen to the silence. And it's amazing. A minute of that, a minute and a half of that, it lasts forever. And I mean, like <laughs> forever, but at the same time, it's so refreshing. And then when I would come out of that, um, I just your my brain is just firing on all cylinders, and so there are times because like you fully come into the present moment when you do right, that. Right, right, yeah. And so if I had gone into the meditation with um, thinking about something, now of course going into it, you let everything go. But I'd noticed if there was a specific topic or thought, question, idea, anything that I had on my mind before I went into that, when I came out of it. The, that initial thought was still gone, but I would notice like as I'm getting ready for the day, all of a sudden my brain would kick into full gear and I would have all of this stuff that revolved around that thought that I was having right before I went into the meditation. And so that's where I was like, oh, this is, can be very handy. I mean, literally, if you have something that you're fighting with or struggling with, you just, you have that thought in your mind, go into the meditation, and then when by the time you come out, you just give it a some, you just give it a few minutes, and your brain will just start dumping information out at you about whatever it is your you know your the question was or the idea or whatever. It's a beautiful way to get clarity in your life by doing that. Sometimes the answers will come while you're in the meditation, but quite right, yes. often they'll come afterwards and while you're going about your day doing things. Sometimes right after, like you said, sometimes it's as you're going about the day and you're dealing with what you normally do yeah. in life and suddenly you have the aha moment or you have the clarity <laughs> or you have the realizations that just you're, you kind of put it into motion much easier. Yep. yep. And so, I mean, and so as, so currently that's pretty much, that's kind of where I've, I've personally evolved to. I've, I'm at that point where I, I, I sit in the silence um, and I'm waiting there. Uh, I think you really have to learn to um, gauge where you're at, not by the desire to move farther, but by your, your own system, your own mind, your own body, whatever. It will tell you, okay, I think you should go farther. But until then, you should just... Repeat. Yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. Do yes. it over and over. And then if you reach that point where you're like, okay, something's pulling me, something's telling me, 
try something a little different then and, and just do little things at a time little changes at a time and you'll you'll notice that each one will you know and then if and if it doesn't feel right don't do that one again you know and just but go with it and that's so that's you'll what, find your path just naturally evolving basically as you do it and continuing to build that place out for some it might be more technical like you described with the control room and switches and for other people it me. might be a beautiful willow tree or an oak tree or a forest or the beach or whatever yeah. feels comfortable yeah. to you and just notice the surroundings you're building out this place but you're also allowing your mind to just empty and clear and fill in the details for you yeah. too yeah. it's a combination of you kind of creating things and just opening up to the universe and allowing it to fill it in noticing as you look around it's great to keep a meditation journal as well and kind of write down some people remember what the start to finish very well and others for other people what you meditated on last week might not be in your brain anymore in the future yeah. and so it can help to lost, write that down I probably lost a lot of the things that I've come Could up with when it's, yeah, yeah. it's very interesting yeah. to detail that and if you're writing it down then after a few months of going to the same place it's very interesting to go back with the intent of saying okay let me see how this place has changed how has it evolved mm -hmm. what's different what's new here and you can ask questions when you're in the meditation too and see how things are changing one of the things I love that you had asked just recently in a meditation was you had were thinking about being able to see yourself which you can see yourself in meditation mm -hmm. and so you asked to be able to see yourself in the meditation I'll have you explain that well is this the energy the, the light body okay yeah it. yeah okay well yeah so well that was so I was I was she had talked we had talked about it was actually when we were doing the recordings and she had mentioned we had talked about she can go into these meditations and come out like she's had almost like a full night's sleep and it's just that I just was like wow that's kind of I mean I found little tweaks that I changed me but I don't feel like I've got a whole night's sleep you know I'm not just like everything's like all better mm -hmm. and um, and so I was I'd gone into the meditation and I was just processing that information and so I walked back through my you know the old meditation into my tunnel and all the stuff and so I was standing there for a minute and I actually I looked down and I could see my body kind of more distinctly than I had really seen it before and then I noticed there was like this gold light and it just kind of it got gold light came like up from my feet and it came up and it got brighter and brighter and brighter and eventually it just completely overwhelmed me with just this gold light and I just was like okay and I'm just like I'm Wow, I'm done with the meditation, and when I opened my eyes, I was absolutely refreshed. I mean, renewed, energetic, like I hasn't, like I haven't been in a very long time. And I just went, "Oh, maybe that's what she does," you know. <laughs> and so it's just really, really very cool that it was. A, I was able to actually get there by asking kind of what it would be like for her. So yeah. anyway. So exactly. Yeah. It's very simple. Don't complicate it. That's yeah. so perfect because you just ask for what you want and it will give it to you. If you're doing it so that you can sleep, then you can say, you know, if you can please help me to go into a deep sleep and wake up refreshed. Always follow up with what you want the end result to be. Mm -hmm. Usually you want to sleep so you feel refreshed right. the next day. Yeah. So ask for <laughs> both. Yeah. Or I want to sleep. Okay. And then you wake up. Wow. Wow, I still really want to sleep. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I could sleep really long. Yeah, still. I could just, yeah. Okay, maybe till tomorrow. Was that part of the plan? I don't think that was part of the plan. Yeah, experience. <laughs> right, exactly. And then you go, wait, and wake up refreshed. Oh, there you go. That's yes, what I wanted. It really helps. And uh, and so I'm getting all these ideas of next week too. For <laughs> She's, oh, and I can tell them. And, I and can it's going to be two weeks from now, actually, that we'll see oh, okay. our next part of this. But um, just oh, right. to follow up on a couple of things. Yes, we're doing our moon. Moon. We're going to be getting our next moon next week. It's very exciting. Very Can't wait exciting. for you guys to see it. But um, coming back here for just two other things, so when you were talking about um, the energy flush, yes. so um, one way to get the quick energy boost, as you just mentioned, is just to ask for it. It's amazing. Um, we are on the go a lot, probably a lot more than most people. Um, we don't stop a whole lot. And, um, and with that, I need to have these refreshers. And so it's an amazing tool. A lot of people live a busy life. Many people, it's our 
our culture that people are pushing themselves so much. We don't push ourselves quite as much as some of the Asian cultures do, but we are getting close to yeah. that. We really are. Our country is in a in a push towards doing more. It used to be much simpler times, and now it's much busier times. So having this tool to put in your toolkit is a great way to be able to wake up and to be refreshed in a very quick hurry in the afternoon and so but with the energy flush that you mentioned another way to say that for starting meditation is a body scan basically what you're describing is a body scan so when you put your attention your awareness you might start at the top of your head and just kind of work your way all the way down just noticing how every part of your body feels noticing if there's tension in any parts noticing what feels relaxed noticing if it feels like there's any blocks anywhere if some areas feel hotter or colder you're basically just scanning through it's a little different from what you described yeah, but, but you. essentially yeah, the yeah, same yeah, and you're just you. scanning through everything from the head down through the toes or if it's easier start with the toes and work your way up through the head whatever works for you and as you're doing that the body is naturally healing itself in that moment because you're bringing the present moment your current focus oh. all in your awareness into those cells so the cells are getting the attention that they need to be able to come back into the balance all pretty much most diseases most discomforts and everything is a, an imbalance or an out of harmony yeah. or being diseased and so you're not in ease yes. with yourself and so it Disease. brings you okay everything right. comes back into exactly <laughs> everything comes into the present moment and can find its balance if you have a lot of pain in an area of your body it's something i deal with a lot then if you put your awareness it seems counterintuitive but you put your awareness exactly into the spot that hurts like this morning it felt like my wrist was broken. broken it hurt so bad it literally felt broken i knew it wasn't broken but it felt like it was and my ankles felt almost, almost the same way right? <laughs> and so i put my awareness into my wrist and just really focused on that when I had time to take a moment after we did a bunch of stuff right. <laughs> and, uh, and it helps to ease it out. It brings you into the present moment. Those cells are kind of screaming out to you saying, hey, attention here, something's wrong. We need your focus. And so you focus on it, you come into present moment, it's able to relax. So body scan or energy flush are great ways to nice. accomplish a similar thing. Nice. When you find the balance and harmony in your body, your energy comes up naturally as well. Sense, yeah. um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention, mention was listening to the silence. So I said you can build out your meditation space whatever draws you. I like the forest. That's my favorite. Willow oh. trees are my favorite tree. And I don't know if you can tell yeah, that, that I like the that's forest. <laughs> that's why we sit in the middle of the forest every, every week here. Week. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so um, with that, uh, you can make it a beautiful technical space as you did. You might make your meditation space a palace. If you want beautiful, oh, luxurious yeah. things oh, around you, cool. make a cool palace. Yeah. Have the Knights of Big Tiles. And Exactly. Columns. Whatever you want. Yeah. Or if you're doing, if you're wanting to go into the space of silence, let's say you are in a forest for your meditation space. I think that's common or the beach is pretty common too. Okay. You can build out, ask it, your meditation to show you where there's a cave. And so you can go into the cave and oh. you'll just get silence when you walk into nice. the cave. So you're still in that natural surrounding, kind of naturally walking into yeah. it. Or yeah. so with the beach, you might find a place where you can go down lower into, into a, a tunnel like a under the sand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so get like creative it. with yeah. it. Find where you can find that space of silence. And you might end up finding you have various chambers in your meditation yep. too, to yeah. do different types of work. Um, it's interesting. It's something you can really play with, have fun with it. This is your space. This is where you find your center. It's where you can come into the present moment. This is you being able to harness the power of your life. Coming fully into your body, fully into your mind, helps you to be able to be fully engaged in your life. Taking even five minutes a day is going to be setting you up for so much more potential in life, helping you to harness mm -hmm. what you're doing every yeah. day day Absolutely. in life. I hope you're enjoying what we've been doing so far with this deep dive into meditation. We have some very exciting things coming up. Next week, though, we're going to be talking about the Harvest Moon as we're rounding out our beautiful series of the moons this year. Exactly. That wouldn't be the last moon. That is the moon. last moon. That's yep. the last moon. That's the last moon. 
It's amazing. It's been a, a 12 months journey. Wow. We are going to be doing a talk on the blue moon, but that will be um, in January when we have our next blue moon. So we've, taught, we've done that in past videos, but we're working on a very special design with Man in the Moon Metalworks when we come out with the blue moon. Um, and uh, the harvest moon might be one of my favorites, but I think I've said that about a couple of them already. Yeah, think, <laughs> it's yeah. very hard to choose. Yeah. They come um, out. Oh, this one's my favorite. Oh, when this the series is done, if any of you are interested in getting the whole series they would make great Christmas ornaments or to hang them in windows or whatever you want to do with them too yep. and um, they're very, they're very a, a portion of that will help earth and sky as well and we're very just very grateful to our amazing artists who are here every week with uh, Man in the Moon Metalworks you can see them at local art fairs here in Michigan too but uh, that is it for this week so we will look forward to seeing you next week hope you're enjoying this deep dive in meditation and let us know if there are any other deep drives you want us to do any specific topics you want to know more about or and even simple one week topics and if you have any questions or any thoughts about this stuff you can absolutely make comments we will get back to you yeah and remember to like share or hit the love button wow. subscribe to us on youtube and hit that little bell notification to determine how often you want to get notifications yep. about our videos have a great week everyone